welcome to our YouTube channel Illusions 3D. In this channel we're going to make reviews of a lot of different printers, give you advices, show you different filaments and of course answer all of your questions. In this box behind me is the first printer that actually we're going to review in this channel and that's Anycubic Mega Zero. Hope you enjoy and keep watching. So we already have taken the printer out of the box and started installing the aluminium beams to the base. For this we used M5 by 45 volts. We suggest you be careful when installing each aluminium as on them both are marked different holes for the stepper motor and the end stop. This printer actually is very easy to install and if you're a noob that's a perfect choice for you. We have passed through many printers and believe me there were some really nightmares. However, the first printer we bought was Anycubic and we really like this brand as it is affordable, easy to install and prints really well. Once we are sure the aluminium beams are installed and tightened, it's time to install the Z-stepper motor from the left side of the aluminium beam, which is very easy process once you're sure both walls are straight. That's what we are going to do now. The installation of the stepper motor is to its end. And once we tied the balls, it's time for the Z motor. Here is important to point that the set screws must be screwed on the flat surface of the Z motor shaft. So turn the Z axis lead screw to lower the X axis module and install the end stop of the side. Pay attention to the relative position and the U-type hole and the screws on the Z-limit switch so to allow future adjustment. The extruder is easier thing. Locate the extruder and install it with M3 by 38 volts to the X model. So insert the teflon tubing coming from the print head to the extruder. This is called a Bowden setup. It is time to install the top aluminium beam to the rest of the frame and complete it. There are two screws M4 by 16 to tighten the spool holder. So now we tighten the bolts on the top of minion beam and the next step is the two screws M4 by 16 so to tighten the spool holder. Be sure that all bolts are tightened correctly and as much as possible. Once this process is done, we are going to install the control box and connect all those wires to their corresponding sockets. There is nothing to worry about as all the wiring loom is marked in the appropriate letter to insert in the correct manner. For example, X for X-axis motor, Z for Z-axis motor and so on. 
and that is all. The printer is ready for use. So now plug it to the wall and let's see the first print. As the Anycubic Mega Zero has no heated bed, it is advised to apply a layer of glue stick before starting the print. This will ensure that the print will not warp of the print bed later on. There are many other options as well, although we found using glue stick is the easiest method to source. The owl became pretty good for a first print, as you can see. It took us around 2 hours to print it, but still we are really happy with the results from our first print and with the printer at all. You can see the lines closer, they are barely visible. Here is the back as well, how shiny. Great work, Annie Cubic! Please subscribe to our channel, like and comment with any feedback you have for us. That would be highly appreciated.